Hey guys, Ike Brander here again. I uh, want to add another addendum to my uh, uh, rivet making tutorial where the uh, wire has a little ball or sphere melted uh, into it. So what I've done, I've already done that step. So I have this piece of wire with the little ball hand on, ball hand on it. I'm going to cut it to length. Pretty good. I'm using all the same tools as in the first video, with the exception I've added two more. I've added a set tool, which is really just my large ring dot stamp that I use on some biking stuff sometimes. It's uh, probably uh, almost a quarter of an inch in diameter there with maybe uh, a little less than an eighth inch uh, of depth on that spheroid inside that ring dot. And then I also have just a flat tool that I'm going to use to finish setting it. I had this uh, conversation with uh, my apprentice, Jean uh, Pepin. He recommended and reminded me that maybe using a set, set tools like I just showed would be more accurate in keeping the center line of the shaft to the uh, center line of the head that you're creating. So I gave it a try and it works a lot better and it's a lot easier than hand hammering. So that's what I'm going to show right now. So I take the set tool, set it directly over that. I have a nice little formed head there. Sorry about the focus. I'm still learning my video skills here. And then, if I don't want a nice little domed head, I can then take this set tool. Again, put it perfectly vertical. And just hit it once. As I'm just done. my standard removal tool and that out of the heading tool and we then have a little bit nicer made where the hell to go <laughs> sorry guys this is ridiculous anyway I'll take a picture of it <laughs> I hope that helps too a lot easier